Gormagut, I just want to begin by saying that uh, the current deal between Quilcha and Gresham Holdings, it needs to be stopped immediately. I, as a rural TD, am very opposed to it, and government need to step in now and show leadership and, and proper leadership that we haven't seen before, because I know a number of organisations, whether they be farming organisations like the IFA or forestry organisations like CIFA, have expressed serious concern, and indeed they're not alone. These stakeholders need to be listened to, and I, I would urge you to step in immediately. Um, on another issue, Minister, on the 5th of January, the Irish Climate Science Forum sent you and government its own scientifically informed professional analysis of this plan we are debating. The ICSF shares the government's vision of a sustainable future as aspired to in CAP23, but begs to point out that there be achievable and socially acceptable in order to be achievable and socially acceptable, it must be based on latest objective science, consistent with real-world ob observations, pragmatism on the limits of mitigation and on the greater benefits of adaption. The ICSF note that CAP23 is based on exaggerated climate science and also leads to nonsensical strategy. Indeed, the aspired deep level of mitigation, they say, if ever achieved, could seriously damage the Irish economy. They say that prudent mitigation should instead focus on areas with quantifiable benefits in energy efficiency, economic benefit and social gain. In this context, Irish energy supply and electricity grid have an increasing risk of national blackouts, the most urgent imperative being the approval of the LNG import terminal.